yesterday morning in our church service, we began to look at personal character. We defined character as we should be reflecting the attributes of God. Or we said it's the will to do what is right as defined by God regardless of the personal cause. When we look through scripture, there are many individuals that are placed into positions of leadership over a group of people. The position was being a king. In 1 Samuel 8, 4 through 5, we read, Then all the elders of Israelite gathered themselves together and came to Samuel and to Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Israel for generations had been a theocracy. Their king was God. But now they wanted a more physical ruler. They wanted an earthly king so that they could be like all the other nations. The Lord warned them about the dangers of the king and about the importance that the king have character. The people wanted someone that looked like a king more than they were worried about someone that acted like a king. So God gave the people their desire. In 1 Samuel 10, 24, And Samuel said to the people, See ye him whom the Lord hath chosen, that there is none like him among all the people. And all the people shouted and said, God save the king. Then Samuel told the people the manner of the kingdom and wrote it in a book and laid it before the Lord. And Samuel sent all the people away, every man to his house. Now, Saul began as the king that everyone wanted. He started out as a humble man and he was not looking to be the leader of the people. He even made some decisions at first that were great decisions. But as Lord Acton stated, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's not long before Saul begins to make some poor decisions. We see them in the leading of the people and we see them in his dealings with David. All of these stem from a character trait that is very prevalent today and I think it is defined in his life. The character trait is insecurity. Saul was insecure shortly after becoming king. We even see it as a really once he got started when he hides among the stuff. But he begins to lead the people. He makes some good decisions. But then he goes to the battle at Amalek. There he spares the life of King Agag. When confronted by Samuel, he says, The people made me do it. There it is, that insecurity. He didn't do what God said. He did what the people said. When he goes to the battle with the Philistines and David goes out and fights Goliath, the women begin to sing, David has slain his ten thousand, Saul his thousands. Oh, again, here's that insecurity. He is no longer content. They revere David more than me. Moving forward, even going back to Agag, when he looked to Samuel and Samuel says, look, God's going to judge you. He says, oh no, Samuel, come before the people with me. Don't let me look bad in front of the people. Don't let David look better than me. And on and on it goes. So Saul begins to try and kill David because he figures David's going to be the next king. He even warns Jonathan, don't you know he's come to take your kingdom? And then Saul tries to kill Jonathan. Over and over and over, he makes decisions about what to do based on an insecurity in what God is doing. Finally, near the end of his life, Samuel is gone, and Saul goes to the witch at Endor to try and seek an evil spirit just to give him advice because he is so insecure. You see, the character trait that we unfortunately learn in the life of Saul is an opposite reaction to the sovereignty of God, the trait that we should be reflecting. When we know that God is in control, there is a calm and a peace that comes about our life. We trust in his leading and his working. We do what he has told us to do and trust him with the outcome. But that was not Saul. Saul's insecurity defeated him at every step because he made decisions based on what he thought he needed to get the outcome to be instead of trusting God with the outcome. In your life, If it is defined by an insecurity in what's going on, an insecurity in relationships, an insecurity in finances, in the events of life, come back to God. Do what he has told you to do. Trust him. Trust in his sovereignty and allow him to guide you. He is the source of our security. He is the one who reveals the character trait. 
He is the one that we reflect when we show that we are secure in God. Saul lived a life of insecurity and it cost him every relationship and it cost him his kingdom. It cost him his purpose. Don't sacrifice those things that are most important because you're insecure in what God's doing. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message in a minute.